afternoon everybody from Queens on City. I've been here like six weeks and uh, I don't actually think that I've actually like shown Queens on City. So I'm going to take you for a little tour around. So if you do come to Queens on City, you'll uh, know what to expect. But there will be a lot of traffic. in Quezon City. Quezon City, the heart of Metro Manila, at the crossroads of the floor of progression and, sorry, it's just the sun's in my eyes. Strategic coverance point and development gains. Be proud of what we've become a city while continuous tra transformation. And they've got this like stunning statue here just on the ring road. Statue here, Thomas B. Morto, right in the centre on the roundabout, as you can see. So it's like right in the centre of the roundabout, you've got Rolling Stone, Bill Bar, Pizza Hut, Shakey's. It's just down the road from that cafe that I posted the video on. Yeah, I do like being in Queensland City, it's like really nice. I've had such a good time here, yeah, I've only got one week left. I'm actually quite disappointed that I'm going to have to leave, but obviously there'll be about more adventures further afield. But for now I'll just try and cross the road. <laughs> so in Quezon, there is a lot of traffic, just to give you an idea. So if you are travelling around, that have given everything about 10 extra minutes, 10-20 minutes. So, I'll show you how great it is down here. In my hotel, I had loads of um, coins. Um, and to be honest, I have no idea what the coins are and what they're worth. So basically, I put them in two big bags and uh, I came down here, found all the children, and we played a game where if we get as much as they wanted, then obviously the ones that missed out, I sort of topped up. Yeah. Off camera, the people are uh, really nice, but I think when you put the camera on, a lot of people don't want to be filmed in the situation they're in. But yeah, overall, nice part of Queensland, to be totally honest. People are amazing. Glad I'm walking. We have an accident for an area. Church we got, Queensland City. It does feel rather hot there. There's a lot of high rise buildings here. But it's not really a tourist spot in Quezon, I would say. It's more like uh, where locals live, which is why I come here first. So I could experience more of the Filipino life in Manila rather than going to BGC. That was a, I do like these armoured vehicles that I fly around. Remind you somewhere from the army. And uh, I don't know. So they look very secure. There's some nice restaurants here, sushi shukan. But there's an awful lot of like rubbish around the area. So that was clean in some places that I've been to. And I was just at a market the other day and a rat ran out and ran down the drain, which really spooked us. I wasn't expecting it. So it was like food carts where you can get like local food, street food. But there's a lot of uh, statues around. <laughs> just 
strutted around all over the place. Hello, sir. Hello. Which one's your best one? Can I have a blueberry cheesecake? What? Blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah, yeah cheesecake. What size for? Large. Large. Can I have a five for? So there's our blueberry cheesecake, it was 80 pesos, which is just over a dollar. It's like all the drinks in the Philippines, they're very sweet, very nice. Some more of the statues. We have a Kamala Hotel. Starbucks. See, there is like quite a lot. Like, hate to use the word, like tour parts. But everybody is being like really friendly. And uh, quite amazing actually. So I was just walking along in Quezon and uh, I came across this cafe where it's on the second floor. So it's got some quite nice views. I've gone for a nice caramel macchiata and a cheese roll. And also you have these like swinging seats here. You can sit and enjoy the view. But, uh, give you an idea, this was a dollar and this was about one half dollars, one dollar fifty cents. all the change. I would have given the other guy some. To be honest, I had no change left. I need to get some. So it's coming up to five o'clock. Sun's starting to come down. Hence all the traffic. And now it's starting to get really busy with people. Look at these petrol pumps. Never seen out like that in England. Yeah, much more handier uh, to use. So, we've come to a local place where everybody's like cooking. It's that time of the evening where everybody's like eating food, cooking. It's a really like vibrant life. Hi, bro. So in Quezon City you have this Centrius walk. Um, I'll have a walk up and show you um, around the area. So I think a bit later it actually uh, people are coming here for food, there's a lot of food stalls there look. There's uh, some structures here like a wheel. So this is the more central part of uh, Central's Park. Yeah, there are plenty of bits for like Shaden, some statues, and loads of places to like come and eat. Humidity level today is like crazy, it's like red hot. My time, four, 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 four.
Yeah, this is Prestige. A reflex gym. Hello. It's only a small place, but quite nice if you're uh, in the area. And obviously there is a local market here in St. Rias Walk on a Sunday. Just up there there's actually a local market on a Sunday. But as you can see it's getting very busy. show it but there's a tree growing out of the roof of that house. Crazy. So my overall summary of Quezon City <coughs> to be totally honest I like it here like there's so much interaction with the locals I've been to BGC and to be honest nobody really struck up a conversation where yeah everybody says like good morning how are you how was you there? So, fun experience that I have in the city. Come to Queensland. Ooh. Avoid the tripping hazards. <laughs> this part is just near my hotel. Waking you up. Morning. How are you? Ah, good to see you have drinks. Good. These are my prize winners from my money. Hello. You have fun? Good. Thank you. Hello. They're having fun. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I have no more. All oh gone. Sorry, sir. Say with the children that I played the game with uh, for all my coins. To be honest, I think there was about a thousand pesos. You know what I mean? Um, it was just so many coins. But as you see, the kids were having drinks, melons, and everything like that. So. I have kids myself, so not nice seeing the kids go without. But at least they're having a good day now. But going back to Quezon, yeah. If you do want more interaction, yeah, it's not as uh, amazing as BGC. It's not as good as Makati. Um, I would definitely come and try Quezon. So many like more friendly faces. Although Makati was a good place. I think BGC is uh, a bit too commercialised, absolutely a lovely place to go and live, which at the end of my Philippines trip I am going to go and stay in BGC because it is truly an amazing place if you want to live there. So after I will be visiting BGC again. <laughs> 